Mastoidectomies are of two types canal wall up mastoidectomy and canal wall down mastoidectomy. They are divided into two types depending on whether the posterior bony canal wall is retained or removed. So, this is a picture showing the mid layer along with a mastoid. The bony canal wall that separates the mastoid from the mid layer cavity. The external artery canal, posterior canal wall that separates that separates the external artery canal from the mastoid cavity. If it is removed completely, it is called canal wall down mastoidectomy. If only mastoid air cells are exenterated, and the canal wall is left intact, it is called as canal wall up mastoidectomy. So once you do a canal wall down mastoidectomy, the cavity will look like this. You have a mastoid, then there's a mid layer cavity, the whole of the wall between the two is totally removed and both the mastoid cavity and the mid layer are in continuous with each other so that in post-operative period, you can very well inspect the mastoid cavity for any residual disease or any discharge. So this is canal wall down mastoidectomy, canal wall down mastoidectomy, whereas in canal wall up, the posterior canal wall remains. Only the mastoid A cells are removed. These air cells are removed, that is leaving behind only the posterior canal wall intact. The example for this is canal wall up mastoid activity. The example for canal wall up mastoidectomy is cortical mastoidectomy. The example for canal wall down mastoidectomy is modified radical mastoidectomy and radical mastoidectomy.